All right, meteorologist Jeff Lawson is with us now. I mean, just remarkable images there. And I know remnants of the storm surge kind of hit us last night, but obviously right. nothing yeah. like that. Yeah, it's just, you know, actually we had a couple of lightning bolts that showed up or thunder, you know, a couple people heard. But in general, unbelievably bad situation. I was just telling Eugene, preliminary indications are that may be the longest ever that we have in recorded history that a tornado has been on the ground in terms of mileage maybe up to 200 and like 20 miles that was on the ground. We'll have to wait and do it a confirmation. Right now, obviously nothing like that. As we just talked about, the system came through much, 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 much weaker last night, but with a few rumbles of thunder, a couple of early morning showers. Now everything's long gone. The cold air came rushing in behind it and temperatures right now down to 42. We don't have a lot of wind. We had some gusty conditions earlier bringing in that colder air from the north, but now we're settling in at 42 tonight. A lot of upper 20s for the very inland or rural areas. Most of us will be semi close to freezing and then I think sort of mid 30s right near the water with again fairly light wind conditions. High temperature 60 degrees again that's deceiving. You got to read the fine print quite literally. Look at that 108 in the morning. So a little bit after midnight and the low temperature was this morning at 44, but now we are already going to be dipping below that. In fact, look at these ranges across the region. 31 in Wilroy, 37 Churchland, but in between there, 45 Western Branch. Now, maybe that's an hour old or something would account for a little bit of that, but 39 Greenbrier, and you can see 39 Hickory, yet 45 right now down in Pungo, 39 in Allenton, 38 Newport News, Williamsburg International, but 45 in Yorktown. 38 Hilton Village. So the spots where you have a lot of grass around the sensor, it can lose the heat more easily. A look at that north just changed. I thought that went from 39 to 40 actually went up 39 at Hutchins. Uh, Hudgens, you can see temperatures again, very similar just west of there. 48 right now in Duck, 48 in Ags Head, but 39 in Jaycox, same thing in Sunbury. So we're in the 30s in a lot of spots. We're going to drop it back into the 20s for the most rural and or inland locations late tonight, early tomorrow, mid 30s right near the coastline. Not a lot of wind temperatures then already by 1130. That's again near lunchtime and it hasn't gone up a ton. It is still going to be generally in the 40s in most spots, but finally by afternoon we get a little bit more. I started to say warmth. Let's say improvement in terms of milder air. Wouldn't call 50 something warm, but definitely milder. Should be mid 50s for the high tomorrow. And then a cold night again tomorrow night with most spots down into the 30s. And that leads to temperatures again that are relatively seasonal. During the day on Tuesday, highs once again in the mid 50s. So what does the extended range forecast look like? Well, believe it or not, even more warmth is coming in. If this will eventually move on to the seven day seems to be stuck. So let me give it a chance to uh, try to move out here and I think it's frozen up, but I'm going to talk about temperatures in the 60s as I walk back over here. Let's try to hit the hot button and see if that'll do it. Yeah, that did great. So 57 tomorrow, same thing on Tuesday, Wednesday 60. So not a huge difference, but look at Thursday 65 back down slightly Friday and then back up Saturday to 66 with another brief line of showers Saturday night that drops us back for Sunday. Jeff, it's almost like the cold didn't want to go away so so soon. That's why I was trying to freeze your yeah. your, your graphics Literally. there. Thanks for that, man.